Hi guys, welcome back to Creativity Incorporated. My name is Diana. And as you guys saw on the intro picture, I'm building a, not building, but making the door decoration for Teacher Appreciation Week for my daughter's school. So this is what I'm gonna be doing. I put the co my coffee table usually sits here and put it over there. And this is where it goes. Dog stepped on it, already starting to mess it up. That one right there. Anyway, so this is the drawing. <clears throat> the drawing is not perfect. I just sketched it in like 10 minutes. So, <clears throat> teacher, so this is like a window. And I forgot, but at the bottom, I'm going to make it so that it is like a ledge to the window. Right? Okay. I'm making the frame two purposes. One it's going to be 3D and it's going to be cardboard. Well, that's the goal. But because this is also going to be 3D and stuff like that, I don't want to do that. I feel like this has to be reinforced. So I feel like I have to close it in order for it to be completely structured <clears throat> correctly. So this is going to be the Apollo books, which the little baby dragon is going to have little glasses. He's going to be reading a book. And behind... The window or the case uh, there's gonna be oh I don't want to do that because I think I want to write something here but then I want to do like little vines I have uh, construction paper and it's gonna be all gray and then call I mean each book was gonna be each student's name and so I got the cardboard and the names and this is the layout. I think it's a little shorter, so I'm gonna fold it on the top. So when I hang it, it has a little bit more structure. And I think I wanna reinforce the top so when we hang it on the door, it is um, doesn't break or anything. And I might um, double this later on. To, uh, I gotta go get more paper. I have more paper, but I think I'm gonna reinforce this as well. Um, so let me get to it. Okay, so far, what I've done is, um. I kind of got the, the first um, structure or the window frame. <clears throat> and what I, I was going to try to do all of it at one go. But what I love doing, prefer doing, is make, doing half and then folding it over and then copy it. So um, I got a box to get a piece. I took, these are the lids of the box and I kind of just... Ch -ch -ch and then that's one half of the box and then the other lids. So I want to make the frame. And so now that this is um, how I want it, now I'm going to flip it over, copy it, and cut it.
keep on moving it when it shows the stuff. Okay, so I grabbed some of the the material that school gave me. It was a brown piece of um, paper, construction paper. And I folded it every two inches, so it was like 12, so I did six. I'm going to do a stack of books, and I painted it different colors. I think there's too much black in them, so I'm going to go back with brown and like do it again because I don't want too much black. But the goal is to... Okay, this one I got smarter and I left it alone. And I paint it all one go, but these I paint it individually. But my goal is to <clears throat> kind of curve them and make a stack of books, all uh, curved strips. And I also want to do like little embellishments on the books, like I do some of my books. And um, that's how I want to do it. But so you could see, I well, this one's easier to tell. I painted it blue. And then I went with black and I brushed some black on the edges. Then I did a highlight color in the center. On this one, I didn't finish. See, on this one, I did like black on the end. But on the green ones, I didn't do that. So I think I might go back and do that. But then I'm going to add a little bit more green so it's a little bit lively.
Okay, so for the next step, I want to um, put a little bit of black in here, but just a tiny bit. Usually I like put a lot of um, paint, but that's kind of how much I want. I want the paper to be um, still kind of whitish. I just want the parts that we're going to um, break up. I just want that to be um, a little bit of black. Like a little, like I want to make a stone look, right? So that's kind of what I'm trying to do. It's probably look, see, it's probably not that much dark. Look how dark it is. Huh? It's not that dark. Anyways, look at my garlics. We just pulled them out yesterday. I'm going to let them dry. We pulled that out last week. It's a bunch of green, um, green peas. Anyway, so I want to, let me get my paper. Okay, so I'm going to attempt this to do this with one hand. So, uh, and this is my paper. I'm going to wrinkle it about this much. Not that much. Oops. This is a cheap kind of paper, so... Well done. It's like craft paper for kids. stretch it here in the counter it'd probably be easier to do it outside but i'm like this is like i think six in the morning that i'm doing this and i really don't want to be outside at six in the morning right now although it's not a nice day but it's still... i don't know if you can kind of see what we're going for Okay, so I have finished um, the dragon. Uh, um, okay, so what I want to do for texture is I use this on my uh, dinosaur book, but I want to do it on my dragon as well. So my daughter wants it purple, so I am going to use purple and blue. The way I'm thinking of doing it is I want to... Okay, so I want to do black. In my head, this is how I want it to work. So if you had like scales, uh, like let's just say this is, these are scales right here. All right, these are the tops of the scales. And inside in the cracks, I want it to be black. So <clears throat> that's kind of what I want to do. But because I can only do the tops, I have to think kind of backwards. So I'm going to, I'll do black kind of everywhere on here, especially where shadowing would be. And then I, when it, as I'm doing it, I mean, then I do that, right? Then I come back with this and then with the damped cloth, take some of it off and then leave it there and then put this there, put it and not remove this so that the cracks in a sense are the black and the little tops of my, sh um, what are they called, um, uh, scales are purple. So I'm hoping I explained it right, so watch me do it. Future Diana here. It doesn't work, it's crap. But I think it's not the paint or the technique so much as the paper. This is, <clears throat> this paper is paper that you buy for rolls, like to put on kids' tables to like paint and draw. So it's like a butcher kind of tape paper, but it's even thinner than that. Because I I have butcher paper and it's like mm, a little thicker than that. But this is a size that it was workable for me. I have a huge 
ginormous roll of butcher paper, but I use it for something else in, in at work. But it's thicker than this. FYI, this doesn't work, so don't judge me. Okay, this is my gazillionth mistake. I attempt to use watercolors, but of course, because uh, distress inks come out uh, with water, and I use all kinds of black and purple and everything, of course, it wasn't going to work with watercolor because, you know, it's mixative. It's mixing, like, the distress inks and the uh, water, and I was just, I'm making mud. So, but... You know, I'm bringing it to you because at first I was, like, scared of, like, judgment <laughs> from you guys. But I want to be real. And I want I want you guys to see all my mistakes and the journey that me and this dragon went on. So, this doesn't work, obviously. So, uh, long story short, <laughs> I painted it uh, with acrylics. And then I just put... Uh, Instead of scales and stuff like that, I just put dots on it. Her. Her. Because it's for my daughter's um, class. So it's a girl, right? So um, I made a tail separately because I wanted it to go this way. So it's kind of going to go like this. Sort of like that. And it's going to go out. Now those are the books. <clears throat> to the background, I did the same thing that I did here, but in this case, I put a lot more paint. And what I ended up doing, because it's craft paper, I ended up like putting like heavy weights on the corners and then just tossing the paint on it. That's why you see it like blotchy and stuff like that. But I wanted it to be, I don't know, dark, maybe nighttime or something. Now, I know it's like 2 in the morning, maybe 3 by now. Um, but I was hoping, I can't get her to get to smile. I don't know what I'm missing. <laughs> she looks like she's like on caffeine. Like she's had more cups than I have so far. I want to see if I can make a book and see if she's reading something. But um, these are the pillars. And I grabbed that paper. See, it's not that much, but it's a little bit. I want it to look like um, concrete or stone pillars. And so, I'm sorry if I'm moving the camera so much. But <clears throat> so, I put the I put little patches like that so that um, <clears throat> you can, it, it looks more like stone. So, I did that. And so, what I'm going to do is turn all the edges like this inside or I can cut them too but I think this would be an easy step for me to do and then what I want to do I think I want to raise it oh sorry I think I'm going to put uh, more cardboard on it so it's raised a little bit more on both sides so that I can put the tree branches that we did earlier I think I want to put them like back here Maybe back here, maybe like through here, because I knew I was going to have empty gaps. And so I just kind of want to fill those up. Okay, guys. Sorry, I went to bed at 5 in the morning tomorrow, but this is how the door looks. Um, I'm really bummed that <laughs> it's kind of the same. I was going for more of a gray stone color, but hey. So I put... Um, the teacher's name, put the student's names, I put once upon a time, the reeds, and everything. Look at the dragon. I think he came out alright. All the kids' names. Here you go. Sorry guys, I know it wasn't a very well put together video. It was a short video. Um, I kind of just wanted to share with you this process and this adventure with you guys. since You know, I feel like you guys are part of my family now. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Till next time, guys, stay safe, stay crafting. I uh, love you guys.